Dominic first started getting symptoms. He started by getting bloody noses. And he was a year, a little over a year. And at first we thought, well, he's learning how to walk. He's a toddler. So he's probably bumping into things and he's getting nosebleeds. And then we saw something kind of growing in his nose. And the doctor said he's got a marble up his nose or something. And we said, a marble with skin around it. And eventually it blocked his entire nostril. So we took him in uh, to have it removed, to have surgery. And then they called back towards the end of the day and they said, uh, he's got cancer. And then they had to spell it, rhabdomyosarcoma. It was like, you've never heard of it more than likely. So here's how it's spelled. And, you know, things moved really quickly after that. And I remember asking in the first oncology appointment, you know, am I going to have to say goodbye to my son anytime soon? And he said, uh, no, that with what he has, treatment will get this taken care of. He said there will be complications, there is a chance of recurrence, and if it recurs down the line, then worry. But he said, for now, this immediate thing right here will get taken care of. And so a year of chemo, a month of the month of December was radiation five days a week, multiple surgeries, uh, trips, hospital stays, trips to the ER, spending Christmas in the hospital. You know, the whole rest of that year was kind of a blur. Several doctor's appointments at the beginning, lots of, you know, scan dates and other surgery. And I remember his oncologist had said, well, he's gonna get a Make-A-Wish. And at first I was like, well, he doesn't need one. Those are only for, you know, really sick kids. And I think I must've still been in denial. He's like, well, this is a life-threatening disease. And I think again, when he like had to reiterate that to me, I was like, oh, okay, this is really serious. And then he was still, you know, just one and a half at that point. So I didn't really think about it again until it was, I think at the end of treatment, he started having some relapse scares. We were back in there all the time. and. It was his case manager in Child Life came back in and they talked about it and asked if Dominic wanted a wish and so we started the process. His initial wish was for pizza. Why can't we dream bigger, buddy? <laughs> like we can definitely get you a pizza. He got to watch a little video and then play with some toys. And at first I think it was kind of overwhelming for him. It was like a really exciting experience and you know, he was still pretty little. He was only three, a little over three at the time. We thought, oh, this will be so cool. He's going to be able to do something that, you know, he's always wanted to do. And they asked him what he wanted to do. And he said, uh, I want to drive a boat. He said, who do you want to meet? No one. Where do you want to go? On a boat. Everything was very much about a boat. And so it, was, it became sort of clear what the wish was going to be about. And when we were invited to go on Mr. Nilo's yacht in the bay, we didn't know what to expect. We told Dominic we were gonna go on a boat. And then when he saw we we're driving over to the yacht club, he asked, do I get to go on those boats there? And we said, yeah, you're gonna go on one of those boats. And Mr. Nilo has a very nice, a very nice sailboat. And so, uh, it was our first time on a sailboat. Dominic was uh, uh, very thrilled about the opportunity to be in the boat. I think it was particularly fun uh, for him to in, make this, have this enjoyment with his family on board. And his mom and dad were terrific people. But he was, uh, it was a, a heartfelt day. He was, he was happy, he was engaged the whole time, and uh, he was moving around a lot. We had to keep our eye on him. So Dominic is on the boat and he's very excited. He's very serious about driving the boat. And 
he would sit there and he would steer the boat very seriously and talk, stop, take a break. You know, he's taking it very seriously that he's driving a, that he's driving a boat. And so I think that was the highlight of his trip, being able to go on the boat. I think it's just probably some of his favorite memories. He, I mean, he talks about it all the time. Whenever he sees pictures, he gets really, really excited. He tells people about it. And I think it's kind of really one of the only positive things he can say about his cancer. He, I think like I have a, I got a wish because I had cancer. And it's everything else that he talks about in relation to the cancer isn't positive. So it's, and that is, so I think it's something he can kind of take away and he's happy to have had it. He likes to tell people about it and I think it makes him feel important. I can tell you there's probably nothing more satisfying uh, than granting a child's wish, particularly a child who uh, has uh, handicaps, has perhaps a, a terminal illness, and imagine the, the anguish and uh, difficulty the entire family has. So if we can introduce some happiness into a family through the children, the child in this particular case, uh, it is very, very rewarding. The wish was a really positive experience, I think, for everybody in our entire family. And it's something Dominic, even though he's so young, will remember for his entire life. And he had a great time, and thank you. Providing an experience for a kid who may not otherwise ever in their life get that experience is huge, not only for the kid, but for the parents. Knowing that whatever happens, my kid got to do what they wanted to do. Whether it's be a garbage man or go to Disneyland or drive a boat, you know, it's making a huge difference, not only with the kid, but the entire family.